Hi everyone, I'm JD from Learbound Journals and today I have a really, really wonderful book to share with you. I got this one from eBay. It's called The Farmer's Manual and it, came, it was sent from the US so it did take quite a while to arrive but originally I thought I would use it for a journal to make a cover out of it. I thought it would be the perfect size but when it arrived I realized it was much much larger than I was expecting and it looks very unassuming here but as we do a flip through you'll see why I absolutely wanted to grab this book. I first discovered it through Patty Lang's channel over on Sacred Mementos. Uh, she does live sales and I love where she shares books and ledgers and different things um, and this was one of the books that she shared. The Farmer's Manual and Complete Accountant New Methods of Penmanship. So just to show you the first part of it, by the way I was taken by this because this image it's Augustus Schenk um, anguish titled anguish and this was the painting my favorite painting it sits on my wall actually on my gallery wall um, my mum would take me to the art gallery when I was a kid and I memorized the location of this painting and I would just sit there staring at this painting because it just showed me the power of um, art and words to convey a story and just so powerful uh, so emotional and just so good love it love it love it anyway so I was like oh we're off to a good start if this image is in this book <laughs> um, but then all of this first section has these really wonderful um, pages of calligraphy uh, script like look at this love you know I love handwriting you know I love um, curly script like this so as soon as I saw this I was like oh my goodness I love it and all of this is out of copyright. Patty was saying she has multiple copies and one she would just use for scanning, I believe. Um, and look, I have I got a treasure in mine as well. Look at that. So this this was pressed in between the pages. Look at that. That is a, an extra little treasure there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love all these pages. So I'm going to have fun scanning all of those i'm sorry it can't fit the whole thing in frame it's such a a large book day book like look at these pages these are the types of things that i would buy you know from my vintage french shops where i'm looking for ledgers and looking for things with this kind of writing so all of these are just wonderful and so glad that i'll be able to scan them so i can reuse them over and over again and if I can bring myself to use the original uh, we'll see if that can happen I was hoping to get two copies of this one to keep and to um, preserve and the second one to you know make journals out of look at these so these ones you could cut up individually and they can be like little pieces of ephemera because um, buying checks is something that people do in the junk journal world as well so you can scan all of these cut them all out and you have a supply of checks and I don't know what these ones are specifically called receipts and things um, like there's so many there's just so many and yeah a huge thank you to Patty for always sharing books and sharing her live sales and sharing information about paper types and she's just a wealth of knowledge she um, knows her papers and I love I love paper and so I love learning from her about different types of papers, what they're called, their properties, how they can be used, how they can't be used, that kind of thing. For example, this paper is really, I think, dry and brittle, so you can't fold it. It will just crack. Um, and then this middle section, I'm not uh, fussed about this middle section. And if I, this is why when you go to op shops or, or you thrift for books, it, this is why you need to like look through the entire book because if I just flick to this part I'll be like eh, that's not really for me I'm not that interested in this type of thing um, it's, it's good I love it um, when I first started out doing junk journals I would have jumped at something like this but now I'm much more particular about the types of things that I will bring into my 
room <laughs> and fill up space with so I can still definitely use all of this but it's not the most exciting part of this book for me um, and if it was if the book was just this I probably would not get it um, so yeah some of the pages are fun like those ones there they're quite fun and I will definitely use them now that I have them but the thing that tipped me over the edge like as much as I love the calligraphy what I love most is this and look how much there is all of this is just pretty much ledger paper and you know my favorite type of paper to include in journals is ledger paper vintage ledger so I was like I would just get this book just to have this stash of vintage ledger paper on hand Look how much there is, they're so good. And again, I can scan all of these, the different types of ledgers and have them on hand to, um, you know, print out again and again. I like having a variety of ledgers I can use. I've got a, a vintage ledger paper kit in my Etsy. I've got two actually, one just a normal vintage ledger and another one that's a vintage French ledger kit. Um, so I'm always on the lookout for more ledgers to add to those two kits and just have different types of lines and yeah it's it's just so fun look at this look it's like a vintage ledger included in a book which I've never seen before and it just goes on and on and on and on and on look at that look at that and I would never have discovered this without Patty Lang sharing it on her channel and she's shared so many other books sometimes I take screenshots of any books that I find that she shares that I'm like oh I want to go see if I can find them at some stage and all the ladies they will um, you know, go on eBay and, and search online as well um, and see where these books are available um, I think there's one called seasons that I really like and there's one called the girl graduate so one day I'd like to see if I can find those two as well in the future and maybe find a second copy of this but if I'm going to be able to scan it I should be able to um, be okay with using the originals um, but yeah I just want to share this book as well on my channel in case you just love seeing books like I do and love seeing fun pages like this and maybe you also want to check out eBay I've shared flip throughs of various books on my channel and heard from people saying they ran straight to eBay and bought their own copy which is great they did that with Edith Holden books Granny Chic um, the Lake Garden or play the places that are garden books those ones um, so it's so fun being able to introduce people to books and yeah Patty Patty shared this one with me <laughs> in the in the live so it's from 1914 this one um, and yeah there when I checked on eBay there were quite a few um, available I'm not sure about now because um, you, you know once the book is shared um, maybe all the ladies went to eBay and picked up one as well <laughs> so, so yeah um, but keep your eye out I really love it it's such a great book it's really big and chunky and heavy so many pages it will take me probably like hours to scan these pages um, but yeah I will it will definitely be worth it in the end to be able to have them digitally to be able to have to print anytime I would like uh, so yeah love 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 this book and if you loved it as well let me know in the comments and feel free to share any other books that you love to use in your journals um, are there any books that you will always grab no matter what when you see it at the op shop. <laughs> uh, for me, it's like Edith Holden books and illustrated botanical books. I will always grab those. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.